Hi guys, welcome to my first ever challenge. So you might remember back in March I did a 20 mile hike. I lost the trail, which wasn't a problem because geographically I sort of knew where I was, I knew how to get myself back home. But it got me thinking, what would happen if I didn't know where I was and I was stuck in the woods overnight, so my phone had died as well. So what I've done is I've packed the exact same gear I had that day. I've got the same amount of water that I had when I lost the trail, the same amount of food I had, and I'm wearing the same clothes. But this time, I'm not going home. <laughs> Before we get started, I thought I'd run through exactly what I've got in my day pack. This is exactly what I brought with me on the hiking trip. My hiking poles, pipes, more wipes, and some tissues. This is my little med kit, like pain relief stuff, plasters, blister plasters, alcohol wipe, tenacious tape in it if I need to repair things. It's got a couple of sweets in there. That's just like for emergencies. Hand sanitizer, oh, that's just some chewing gum. Water filter, soya squeeze mini purification tablets in there as well. This is my little sit mat, head torch, anchor power core, power bank. Just a little cloth. I keep all my stuff organized in dry bags, sandwich, packet of crisps, hot chocolate, and a couple of chocolate bars. A clothes bag. At the moment, it's just got my uh, down puffy in it, waterproof top my little fleece hat and neck warmer and some fingerless gloves. Got my little section of tarp. This is what I put on the floor um, whenever I'm cooking or like sitting down just to put my stuff on so the stuff doesn't get dirty. My stove, my water bladder. This is about how much water I had when I lost the trail on hike. So not a great deal, I had a little bit. So that's everything I had in my rucksack on my day hike. My compass, lip balm, another one of these. Let's get going. I reckon we've got two or three hours of daylight. Um, obviously when I got lost on the trail, it was about an hour before sunset. So I'm starting a bit earlier because you won't be able to see anything I'm doing otherwise. But yeah, let's get going. So I've come across this fallen tree, which I'm wondering if I could make a shelter against. It's pretty sturdy and the wind today is coming from that direction, so if I can block off that side, that should give me a nice little shelter. Let's do it. This is thirsty work. I'm already having to drink some of that little bit of water that I've got. I'm getting quite hot too, and I want to be careful not to start sweating too much because Obviously I've got no spare clothes to sleep in. Um, you really don't want to be sleeping in damp clothes when it's cold out. Not good. I've been thinking about the best use for these two. My little bit of tarp and my little waterproof sit mat. And I think what I'm going to do in case of rain is put them across the top of the branches to try and keep some rain out. I'm quite excited about how it's coming along. So another important consideration, and this applies whatever you're camping in, whether it's like this or a tent, you want to look above and check there's no widow makers, that's branches that can fall off trees, land on you and potentially kill you. So this is actually a really good area, there's nothing above me at all. This is looking pretty good so far. I need to get something for a bed as well. You don't want to lay directly on the ground because any heat in you is just going to go straight into the ground and you'll be really cold. So. I need to get myself off the ground a bit, I think maybe some thin springy branches or something like that. So I'll be laying underneath. Ah! When I get rid of the thorns, I'm just collecting loads of sort of thinner branches for a minute and then I can make a bed later. I've got some branches that hopefully I can make a bed out of. The back wall's looking okay, I think. I'm gonna start getting lots of leaves now. I'm gonna use this to collect leaves. Um, and I'm gonna try and put some along the back wall and I'm gonna need to use them for my bed as well.
I am feeling the pressure a little bit now. The sun's just gone down behind the trees, so I don't know how long that means we've got of daylight. What is it? You don't fist. And every finger is 15 minutes, is that it? So it gives me about an hour before sunset. Nice bit of birch bark I can go on. Every little help. Here I am on this side of the shelter. And you know what? I can't feel a single bit of wind. It's lovely. Um, so I think that's quite a good job, really. Uh, I've still got to make a bed. And really, I want to try and get something up a little bit on this side as well. Um, I'm really thirsty. I'm really, really glad I've got my water filter. I mean, it's tempting to think, oh, it's only England, it's cold. You know, you're fine without a bit of water for one night. But this is really thirsty work. And if you're genuinely lost and you're dehydrated, you're going to get disoriented. So I would always recommend taking a water filter out with you because you need water. And I'm really glad I've got one today. For my bed, I'm just going to try and arrange these sticks along here to get me off the floor a little bit um, just to give me a space even if it's not a lot so I'm not directly on the floor um, and then I'm just going to find as much sort of moss and leaves to go over the top of it to make it a bit softer to lay on this is so fun it's getting colder now sun's going better Oh, cozy. I wonder how this will do compared to a therm arrest. X therm. I might send me X therm back if I'm a full on cave person. And if it rains, I have to do it right down like that. again this um, bark off dead trees is amazing for a shower goodbye son just there won't be long now it'll be dark coming along nice. I think I'm gonna lose light soon so before I do I'm gonna go get some water. I mean this is not the best kind of water source. You want fast flowing water but in this sort of situation you do what you've got to do. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna filter it and then I'm gonna boil it as well. So it should be fine. It's a nice colour. <laughs> It'll have a nice leafy taste to it. <laughs> Got water. So I've got a litre and I'm gonna get that boiling now and then it can cool down while I'm finishing the shelter. I feel nice now, I feel like I've kind of done most of what I need to do done the bulk of it so yeah okay this is another thing I'm really glad I bought the stove I only bought this on the hike to heat up my dinner which of course has now been eaten but because I've got the stove I can really make sure this water which is from quite a questionable source really um, I can make sure it's really safe to drink shelter. I'm going to put my waterproof on, not because it's raining but just because um, it's that time of night where everything's going to start getting damp and I don't want my clothes to get damp. Yay! The 
shelters coming along really nicely. Um, this is on a rolling boil now, the water. So, hi Mr Crow. Um, I'm just going to leave that boil in for a few minutes. I can't remember the exact time you're supposed to leave it for, for it to be completely uh, safe, you know, but I'll just leave it for a few minutes and that should be perfectly safe to drink then. I'm going to save my food. I've got a bit of hunger pain actually, so. Well, this sandwich, I'm saving this for really late before I want to go to sleep because if you eat before you go to bed, it's going to help you generate heat while you're sort of still not moving. If you go to bed hungry, you're going to be a lot colder. So, yeah, I'm going to save my hot chocolate, my sandwich, my crisps, and that chocolate for later. So, I'm just going to have a bit of this chocolate now. Water's done now. Just let that cool down somewhere now. Pop it here. Put the lid over, stop twigs and stuff falling in it. This is how it's looking on this side now. It looks pretty good. That's what the inside's looking like at the minute. this lovely moss in my bed. It's really soft. This is the inside of the shelter at the moment. It's quite cosy. This lovely big piece of moss. So I can use that as a blanket to go for my legs or whatever. That's really cool. It is three degrees currently. I feel like I've been just bagging up leaves for hours, which is because I have, basically. Um, but I'm kind of going slow. I'm, I'm hungry. Um, it's not time to eat my food yet. I'm okay. Not too bad. But yeah, um, my next job is I'm going to go around and look for as much lovely thick moss as possible and some loose bark if I can find it. Got some more lovely moss here. So I'll take this piece, this will be my blanket and I filled my bag up with some leaves for a little pillow. Just making a little stack of some little bits of wood um, in case I want to make a little fire in my pot later. Um, I don't know if the wood's a bit damp to take a fire but I can try and I'm just going to collect some of this peely bits of birch bark to use as kindling. Sorry, kicking off over there. Is that the crows fighting? Just making now uh, hot chocolate. You know, it's amazing how much warmer it is sitting here than it is over there. Can't believe it. I've stayed to eat in a little while. Keeping quite warm so far, so that's good. But I've been quite busy moseying about, so we'll see once I'm still. <laughs> It'll be a completely different story. I'm gonna see how this bit of birch bark takes a light. Oh, really well. It's good. Yeah, my fire's not really working out. Um, everything's pretty damp. Also, I'm trying to do it in like a pot, so it's not good. Got good airflow. In a true, like life or death uh, survival situation, you're just going to make a fire on the ground. 
um, keep it contained obviously and safe but this is leave no trace there. I'm trying to do it in a pot and it's not working but yeah it was fun while it lasted. Just having my food now. Sausage sandwich. Um, hopefully I can try and get some sleep after this. It's gone 10 o'clock now. Time to get into bed. Okay. Hello. Den, my feet are down there. I've got my moss blanket on the go. I'm not too bad actually, I feel quite warm at the moment, so yeah, it's good. I would definitely recommend that you don't have your eyes open. You do this so you can't see all the creepy crawlies walking around right in front of your face. <laughs> wow. Right, I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Wish me luck. Good night, wild ones. It's quarter to midnight. I can't sleep because there's a little creature underneath. Basically underneath my ear. Like running around in all the branches. Squeaking. <laughs> started to rain only lightly at the moment eee. had to get up can't keep warm I'm at right first and then cold sets in and it's not like I'm shivering or anything but it's uncomfortable enough that I can't fall asleep. Everybody's just telling me you gotta get up and move. So yeah, it's gonna be a long night. I've got a tiny little fire going in the lid of my um, stove because and get a bit more air to it in the lid. I just realised I've got these two cloths in my bags. Um, one was in my electronics bag and the other one's in here. So I'm going to put that under my clothes as well. It's like another layer of insulation. Morning. I think I'm still alive. I've had about an hour sleep. Um, it's coming up to four o'clock. I'm really hungry. I don't think I'm going to manage to sleep again. So, I'm just sort of going to keep warm now until the sun comes up. Doing star jumps and stuff and wandering about. I might start taking the shelter down a little while. And as soon as the sun's up, we are out of here. Just starting to take the shelter down now. Just putting the moss back. Thank you, moss. The sky is just starting to get light in the east now, so the sun won't be too long. It's been an interesting night. I've stayed warm in lots of different ways, so obviously the shelter, um, using leaves and moss as like bedding, and jumping around and just staying active when I can't sleep, um, making a little fire, saving my food for before I want to go to sleep, so... Yeah, we've got through the night, okay. Goodbye tree. 
the sun is up and in my little lost in the woods scenario I've made it through the night and I've now got a full day of daylight to figure out where I need to get to so yeah really cool um, I did okay wasn't comfortable and it wasn't warm but I got a bit of rest and got a little bit of sleep um, so yeah it's all good it's made me realize how important my gear is like my puppy and my waterproof my water filter and my stove and I want to get one of those foil um, like emergency blankets I really felt the need to sort of wrap myself in something but I didn't have anything so I'll definitely be getting one of those and I'm definitely going for a McDonald's breakfast <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys this has been fun if you enjoyed this video please like please subscribe and I will see you next time Bye! Hello sunshine!